Hi, it's Tony here again from the Think to Thrive programme with video number three in this week's series on stream. The idea that we are feeding our stream of thoughts with either positive things or negative things, but also providing solutions for the problems that you're facing during this lockdown time. So, this problem for today that we are, have all faced, I'm sure, is one word, catastrophization. Catastrophe, doom and gloom, the worst types of thoughts that can uh, go through your marvellous mind. I've got a solution for you. We're going to relate this back to the triangle, the set, the SET, and what aspect that relates to. First of all, though, let's have a look at that solution to that catastrophization that you may be getting inside your mind on a daily basis. So we'll look. A solution, if you are catastrophizing, is to transform thoughts. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm going to give you two very simple words. Flip it. So, for example, if I take hot, I can flip that round and I could say cold. If I say good, I could flip that round to say bad. That's a very, very basic uh, explanation. But to take this a bit further, let's say, for example, you're going for a walk and as you're walking you're you're numerating about bad thoughts you're worrying about things but you could stop flip that situation around and say wow isn't it a beautiful day or look at the wonderful flowers so on a daily basis a solution for you if you are catastrophizing is to flip what you are thinking and doing i'm going to give you a few examples now that i've, I've jotted down just now First of all, I go for a walk every day to get that exercise that we re recommended we can do in a safe way. But as I'm going on that walk, I've discovered serenity. So I've taken a, a walk that could be seen as being very uh, awful and negative because there's nobody else around. I can't talk to anybody. I can't go close to people. I'm outside, but everything's all shut and closed. This isn't as awful. But I've taken that and flipped it to say, do you know what? In these moments of walking outside, I'm noticing it's quieter. There's this wonderful sense of serenity. Here's another thing. How many of you have noticed the birds singing? It's like they know something's occurring. They're just singing. So I've noticed the birds and the different types of birds uh, song in that walk. Um, serenity and the daffodils and the, the wonderful sense that spring is emerging within that serenity, that silence, now that the humans have moved out of the way a bit. The, the second, so the third idea for transforming is taking a thought such as, oh, you know, this is awful, this is going on for too long. You can flip that and say, this isn't going to last. This isn't going to last forever. This is going to come to an end. See how I flipped it? Very powerful. The, the other way I flipped this, I might be walking along, a police car drives past. Now you could say, oh, isn't it awful that the, the police are having to be out and, and tell people to stay indoors or keep an eye on us. I flip that and say, isn't it amazing that we live in a society where there are people that are looking after us for our protection? I feel safe. Flipped it. And finally, seeing things in a new way that you would have never have seen before. Now, this is a tough one to take on, but during this time of lockdown, would you agree that you're learning more about yourself than you ever have before? Flip it. Do you see how I flipped that? It could be, oh, this is awful. You could say, well, actually, I am where I am. I'm going to flip that and say, yeah, but do you know what? I'm learning so much about myself, how much empathy I can provide for other people and how much service I can do just for within my own home. For example, by me doing these videos, I've learned something about myself, stepped up to that call to provide some service. How does it relate to the triangle for the set? Let's have a look. Taking off the water, droplet, of course. It's an aspect of thinking. It's the T in set for thinking. I'm going to hand over now to my good friend, Mike Hendricks, who's going to carry this idea forward. How does Mike transform some of the things that he's doing each day to flip a good to a bad, a negative to a positive? Mike, what do you do on a daily basis? Transform. Thanks, Tony. It's a great word. Trans. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, I believe that's a word that originates from the Latin term that means to come across, 
to go from one place to the other. And it's very important, essential now that we start developing the mental skills and the ability to go from one place to the other. Some people would even say that the old way of living has kind of died and we're now transforming into a new way. This whole situation is something that many of us, if not anyone, has ever seen before or probably never experienced again. So in your daily life, your task is to transform what you may be currently thinking into something that's going to benefit you, something that's going to enrich you, something that's going to help you move forward and make sense of this whole situation. As Tony said, flip it. Flip it from one situation or one way of thinking about it to another way of thinking about it. Another term that you can use is to reframe it. So reframe is a term that we use in the coaching um, when we have a client or when I'm working with a client and they want to look at something in a slightly different way. We ask them to reframe it. So you have to develop the skindles on a daily basis. How can I change this? We work in op and operate in a polar universe. We have up, we have down, we have left, we have right. And something that we talk about in our Think to Thrive online program is how you have the great power of choice. Within those two polars, up, down, left, right, you have the choice. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it hot or is it cold? Am I being productive or am I being destructive? Constructive or destructive? The choice is yours. You have the power within you to make that choice. Now, it's not going to be something that you do straight away, but what we're encouraging you to do is to cultivate the mindset, cultivate the skills and develop the habit of flipping it. This situation is stressful, but you can use that as a positive thing. Use it to learn about you, as Tony says. Use it as a situation where you can grow and enhance your knowledge about yourself. Because the better you become, the better people around you become. So think about that. How can you flip it? How can you change it? How can you transform your mindset so it's serving you in a more collaborative way. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you're doing. Okay, until next time, here's to your success. Take care.